We speak there stepped up security at a well-known Tampa synagogue and preschool where someone left a desecrated American flag. Our Serena Vazan is live outside the congregation on Swan Avenue where parents are still very nervous tonight. Serena. They certainly are, Jameson. You know, according to the preschool's website, babies as young as five months old are in that school. And take a look. There is a huge wall that's obviously protecting the synagogue, but that flag was apparently found right outside on that sidewalk. But kind of scary that it's hitting cl so close to home. Stephanos August, like any parent, would do anything to protect his kids. When he got this letter from Congregation Sherizetic letting him know about a desecrated flag with the written message blaming Jews, he panicked. When I got it, I just wanted to pull my kids out immediately out of school and just bring them to another school. His three-year-old twins go to the synagogue's preschool, a school open to all faiths. Stephanos is from Greece. This deplorable, um, and I'll use that word, uh, has left this, you know, attack on them, a, a, a vicious hate crime. Tampa police are not releasing pictures of the flag or the exact words crudely written on it. Detectives say it's part of the investigation, but here's what senior rabbi Richard Bernholtz told me. Clearly from the writing, basically somebody was upset with things that are going on in the world and, you know, we're unhappy, we're blaming Jews for it. Rabbi Bernholz has led the synagogue for three decades. He says the last time something like this happened was at least 20 years ago. He's assuring families safety is priority. High walls surround most of the synagogue and preschool. There are also cameras and an alarm system. We've had it in the past. We're going to continue to have it. And that should be all the assurance that anyone needs. Our kids are safe. Our employees are safe. We're safe. Tampa police are making sure of that too, keeping an extra watch. After walking in, the teachers, were, they have a game plan in mind if something ever did happen. They are really equipped to handle scenarios like this. The rabbi hopes people will try and keep this in perspective. We live in strange times. And just recently, the synagogue received a federal grant that's worth $75,000. It's meant to enhance security. The money was given to places more at risk. The synagogue plans to use the money towards more cameras. Reporting live in Tampa, I'm Serena Fazan, ABC Action News.